Mirai is an AI-driven robot control system by Microsoft Industries. Mirai makes it possible for industrial robots to look out into the world and react in real time to changing conditions, in particular factory conditions. You attach Mirai to a robot, you augment the robot and give it hand-eye coordination. Robots with Mirai can deal with complexity in production that would be otherwise impossible or extremely difficult to get around with hand-engineered solutions. Very expensive too. Among other applications, Mirai can be used for picking, positioning, insertion, and contour following. In this video, we run through the basics of how the Mirai robot control system works. The Mira package consists of both hardware and software. Among other things, the package comes with the Mira controller and a camera. In order to use Mirai, you'll also need your own robot, a force torque sensor like this, and an anti-factor like this. If you need these parts, Microsoft Industries can happily give advice on how to procure these items. The Mira package also includes a training app. We have installed the app on the tablet already. You use the training app to show the robot what you want it to do. Without training, it can't miraculously perform the task you have in mind. So how do you train? Before anything, we have to establish the task. Imagine you want this robot to individually pick up the glass speakers and move it to the other side of the table. Using its native controller, you can program the robot to move towards the beakers or to move a beaker to the other side of the table. These are predetermined movements. But picking up a beaker is tricky, especially if the tray isn't in the exact same place every time the robot approaches. The position of the beakers vary. This is normal for workpieces delivered in a factory setting. Because the robot is essentially blind, it can't see where things are. As a result, it can't cope with the variance. Not only that, the beakers can vary visually, just like here. This means that an automation solution with a vision system would also have a hard time making sense of the scene. Thankfully, with the Mirai, we can train the robot to handle this specific section of the overall pick-and-place task. Training is done through human demonstration in as little as a few hours. You take the Mirai-powered robot by its wrist and guide the robot in a criss-cross spiral motion over the target above and around it. As you do, a camera records the scene. The camera-recorded images are converted into data and transported via the Mirai controller to the Microsoft Industries Secure Computing Cloud. There, we run the training data through an AI algorithm to create a skill that guides the robot when it performs the movement. The skill is what instructs the robot how to respond to any situation that may come up. It's like a law for the robot to execute. A law that is created and fine-tuned through the instructions you record. You may need to do more than one training session to make sure that your skill is robust meaning it can handle any situation that comes up. Once that skill is robust, the training phase is complete. You've taught your robot the picking skill. You can now use the mirror skill as part of the overall pick and place task. If you have, for instance, a UR robot, this marriage is made in your polyscope. Let's look again at the broader task. There are three sections, the native, controller positions the robot above the glass, which is section one. Now Mirai takes over to find uh, the glass beaker and to pick it, which is section two. Now the robot kicked back in to hand me the glass beaker, which is section three. And that, in a nutshell, is how Mirai works. It's not magic, it's machine learning, the science of getting computers to act without being explicitly programmed. Thanks for your time.